kanijenge yani kanitengenezea mazingira ya kujua kwa yani kuishi kwa kuogopa yeah kwamba nao wengine wanajua sometimes yeah. they laugh at you kwa hiyo yani ndio kanitengenezea yani kuishi kwa kudanganya and everything unakuta mtu ananiuliza mimi nimepata mastaa tu yuko umesikii ah nilikuwa nawaza tu you know yeah nilikuwa na vitu vingi kichwani ndio maana sijakusikia nini yeah. but yani that was the yani the starting point kwamba ule ndio muda ambao nilianza lakini mo, before sikuanza kujua chochote moyo ni mwako yani ilikuwa na kuuma kiasi gani after seeing jinsi ambavyo watu wanaichukulia hali yako okay um mimi nilianza shule nilikuwa sio ile popular girl umeelewa yeah. kwa hiyo um nilikuwa sina marafiki wengi nilikuwa um mtu wa kawaida tu nikienda darasani yani hata wanafunzi they don't care kwamba nimeingia lakini watu wengine wakiingia ah kila mtu anamsalimia kila mtu anakimbilia you know yeah. kwa hiyo baada ni kujua kwamba nina heri loss ndo nikaanza ku blame matatizo yangu yote kwenye hiyo heri loss yeah. kwa hiyo yani nika blame kwa sababu mimi i'm not popular because i have a hearing loss yeah i'm not good enough because I'm, i have a hearing loss yeah umone yeah. kwa hiyo at that time yani nika blame every situation that i have yeah it's because of hearing loss yeah okay yeah. Uh, so Uh, kwa kwako wewe ile hali uliyokuwa unaipata unaweza ukaieleza ili mtu mwingine ambaye anatazama iki kipindi at least hajue kwamba mtu kama ikitokea hivyo kile kinachokuwa kinaendelea ndani yako ni kigumu kiasi gani okay um, kitu cha kwanza kabisa watu wasi ichukulie kwamba ya nani watu wenye hearing loss ndo um, wanapitia iki kitu sana ni watu wengi sana mfano Malvina the very scared kutembea usiku because wanajua kwa labda watakatwa you know yani viungo vyao sio vitapelekwa na nani kwa hao nani wanaitwa hao nani which craft yeah which doctors yeah kwa wanaogopa kitu kama hicho. Asa the only thing they should know, yani watu wajue ni kwamba yani fear ndio inayozalisha insecurity. Hofu ndio inayozalisha kutodiamini. Mfano. Mimi nilivyokuwa na hofu kwamba sisikii vizuri nikaa naogopa kwamba siwezi kutoka nje na marafiki zangu au kutoka nje kuenjoy my life because sisikii vizuri. Yeah that's what I wanted to hear from you kwamba baada ya kuwa umegundua hile alafu kaona marafiki zako wengi labda sasa kila mtu anakunot kila mtu ukipita tu mahali mtu apengena na pointi vidole kwako unamuona yule kiziwi do you understand maneno kama hayo moyo ni mwako yalikuwa yanakupa nini yalikuwa yanakufanya nini yani how are you feeling yani mo- bilikuwa binaniumiza yeah. at that time yeah. ila ukianza kujaccept you don't care ilichukua muda gani kuishi katika Ili matatizo yeah. ilichukua muda sana kwa sababu after high school bado sikujaccept okay and nilipoenda chuo bado sikujaccept until nikamwani you know what i'm tired of this life yeah Yaani to please people all the time I'm tired of that life. Okay. Uh, nataka nijue maisha yako yalibadilika vipi? Maisha yako yalibadilika vipi? Kabla ya kujua na baada ya kujua that moment that day yule Edgar anakuita jina lako wengine wanastuka pale, si ndio? Ni ratiba gani? Ni utaratibu upi ulibadilika kwenye maisha yako kabla ya kujikubali hapa katikati? The day from the, that, that day specific that moment umejua kwamba sasa na hii tatizo na wanafunzi wengine wakawa wana kuangalia sasa kitofauti ilibadilisha vipi maisha yako kabla hujafika hapa kwenye kujikubali um, 
nianze kushi kwa uoga kwa sababu nilikuwa sitaki kutoka nilikuwa naogopa um, nikitoka niki, niki, nikienda in parties in big parties and then watu wakiongea and then sijawasikia you know yeah. au zile awkward moments yeah. kwa hiyo nakuta mtu yuko kule ananiongelesha na mimi nasema naam yeah. naam yeah. you know yeah. kwa hiyo nikawa naogopa hilo kwa hiyo yeah nikaa mara nyingi sitoki nje. Yeah. Kwa hiyo yani nikaa naogopa kabisa yani sitaki kutoka nje. Even though watu wanampigia Helen, ya yeah, my birthday party ni hivi ni hivi ni hivi. Lakini yani mtasema ndes, ya yeah, ndakuja lakini hiyo hiyo siku nampigia ah oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my mom said no. Umeona? Even though sijawahi kuongea na mama kuhusu hiyo kitu si cause najua nikimwambia nikimwambia kwamba naomba nitoke ataniambia tu nenda it's okay lakini sasa mtu akiniambia yenu ile Helen njo I've invited you sijui nini I'll be like okay I'm coming lakini hiyo si kwenye lazima nilete excuse okay so mtazamaji wa jitambue forum nadhani kuna kitu hapa unajifunza kwamba yeye baada ya kujua kwamba analeta tatizo and of course ni mdada mzuri ile maisha ya udada kuna hali fulani ilianza kuja. Kwa hiyo Ellen akaanza kutengeneza tabia za uongo kulingana na ile fear. Of course umeona uoga umnazalisha tabia zingine, umeelewa? Na haya ndo maisha ambayo pengine yuko msichana au mvulana au mtu mwingine yote kwenye jamii ambaye hajajikubali anapitia vitu kama hivi kwa sasa, si ndio? So kutoka kwa Ellen nadhani utajifunza. Kuna swali kule Ellen eh? <laughs> Kuna sali. Jamaa uliza uliza uliza. Ongea tu kawaida jamaa na kusikiliza. Dadangu umetajia madhara ambayo unapata kwenye jamii nzima, si ndio? Sasa nataka najue effect gani unazipata ndani ya familia? Ndani ya familia. Ndani ya familia. Naikuwa na of course nilikuwa nakuja huko kwamba baada ya kuwa umejua siku ile, uliwajulisha kwenye familia. Uli, did you uliongea na mama yako kumwambia, mama unajua na who, who is the first person ambao ulimpa kwenye familia, ulimpa ile taarifa? Mama then what happened alichukuliaje Cause um nilivomwambia mara kwanza akasema ni uh, okay tumia da plan da plan nikamwambia azisaidie nilitumia sana azisaidie ndo we had to go to a, um we went to hospital to check my ears and everything ndo daktari ndo akasema kwamba you have a hearing loss so you have to wear hearing aids you know Yeah. Kwa hiyo ndo mama ndo pale ndo akasema oh you have to wear hearing aids. Kwa hiyo ndo pale ndo na yeye akafunguka kwamba okay mwanangu ana hearing loss. Ila mara kwanza alikuwa anasema ah it's because of this it's because of that. Lakini in reality iko ni kitu ambacho unazaliwa nacho. Yeah. Yeah. Hiyo upande wa shule ilikuwa na... amekujibu umeridhika? Upande wa shule ulikuwa na ulikuwa napata matatizo kama hayo labda kunyanyapaliwa na vitu kama hivyo tunasema kunyanyapaliwa unajua kunyanyapaa yeah. kwa sababu sasa walikuwa kwamba ukiingia kila mtu anakuona kama wewe ni mtu maalum sana special sana kulingana na kesi yako si ndio <laughs> ulipokuwa unakuja likizo kwenye familia were you also meeting the same situation at home or in yeah. the society yeah. yani ulipokuwa unakuja sasa umeshajua kwamba unaumia una, una okay. una tatizo kwenye shule wanafunzi wenzio wakawa nakuona kama huyu ni mtu maalum kiingia tu ana point vidole either yeah. in a negative yeah. way ama in positive way okay. ataki kusema kwamba wote walikuwa wanakuzungumzia negative ways okay. ndio okay. ulipokuwa unakuja nyumbani sasa nyumbani wameshajua ile jamii sasa ya nyumbani mm-hmm. wao walikuwa wana, walichukuliaje um, nyumbani yani walichukulia kama vile cause Eh, yaani kabla sijajikubali yeah. nilikuwa na picha hata wao nilikuwa tunaambia mama na tati hiyo kwa hiyo naishia mimi na mama okay so mama ndo anajua kwamba oh no, hiyo ni tatizo yeah. kwa hiyo akiongea na mimi lazima niangalie yeah. anajua kabisa Helen ana tatizo yeah. ndugu akija yani itabidi nikae na mama yeah. umeona kwa hiyo mama ye, anachukua nafasi ya ku defend. Yeah. Kwa hiyo ndo ana ana repeat yeah. the questions. Yeah. Ah, hey, 